by the outgoing governor of Laikipia, <coughs> Honorable <coughs> Deritu Muridi. Uh, <coughs> I am myself just a member and uh, have had discussions with them, and I'm leaving shortly because I'm going to Mwingi to attend uh, a funeral. But um, I just want to say uh, a few things here that uh, this board has. Uh, steered the campaign. They have uh, been very engaged in designing strategies of our campaign, and I'm very grateful for the job that they have done so far. Uh, as you know, that we have sent a petition to the Supreme Court, and uh, we are eagerly awaiting the outcome. Um, the chairman is going to address you on uh, the issues that the board has, uh, has discussed. I just want to, to mention here that um, two days ago, I got a phone call from the Secretary General of the uh, United Nations, Mr. Guterres. And Mr. Guterres uh, called me uh, to talk to me about the developments in our country and the region generally. Uh, I briefed him about uh, what has happened in our country. Uh, the the outcome of our general elections and uh, the processes that we have initiated to get a satisfactory solution to this uh, problem. He was of course, very grateful to the manner in which we have behaved and the way in which we have conducted everything up to now. I gave him an assurance that Kenya's democracy must mature and that we are determined to pursue legal and constitutional means to resolve the disputes that we have uh, over the decision by the IBC to try to hijack our victory. Uh, we also talked about regional issues, uh, this is security in this region, the Horn generally, and we told him that we are very much committed to ensuring stability in this region that we will continue to make our contribution as a country uh, when we get government <laughs> to deal with the threat of terrorism and also to ensure that stability um, comes back to, to our region. This basically is what the content of my discussions with the Secretary General of the United Nations. At this stage now, I want to invite the Chairman, Honorable Dorito Muridi, to take over this press conference. Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, um, and uh, the members of the board. Um, as His Excellency has briefed you, uh, we've had extensive discussions uh, in the board and uh, with um, His Excellency uh, Raila Molo Dinga, who we believe is truly the democratically elected fifth president of the republic. Now, we want to say to the country that we must be able to go beyond the rituals we've had previously and be able to conduct meaningful democratic elections. We want to say to the country, we must get away from running the affairs of the state on the basis of the briefcase that some of our colleagues uh, would like to return us to, that uh, coalitions that we form must, of course, be based on principle, uh, not just on convenience uh, and uh, in fulfillment of people's stomachs. We want to encourage the country and our supporters to stand tall as we put greater effort to ensure that we are building better democratic practice uh, for our great Republic of Kenya. And that better democratic practice must start by us ensuring that presidential elections are fair, are true, are meaningful, and reflective of the will of the citizens. I'll give you just one example. In proper conduct, it should never even be necessary for a candidate to have an additional agent. Because why 
is it not practical for the IEBC officials who are paid with public money to actually conduct a fair, credible election? The very idea that you must have somebody else looking is because of the culture of stealing of votes. And this is what we must overcome. And therefore, we want to encourage the country that we, as Azimio, and encourage everybody to join with us to build a truly democratic country. We thank you very much indeed. Uh, yes, and um, uh, in haste, I forgot to remind you, we are quite ready for the elections on Monday uh, in Kakamega, in Mombasa, as well as in six uh, constituencies, and we look forward to it. We encourage uh, all our supporters and all Kenyans to get out and vote. It is your right, it is your responsibility. Tafadalini, let us come out and vote uh, on Monday in the respective uh, areas. Thank you very much indeed. Fatma. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. On matters of court, uh, we leave it to the good lawyers. Though we know we have a strong watertight case, and we are prepared to go for a rerun. And we know when we go for a rerun, Baba will be the fifth. But I just want to say one thing about Mombasa. As all of us are going to Mombasa and Kakamega to make sure that those are our traditional seats and we bring it home. But in Mombasa, it's really unfortunate that the CEO of IEBC recruited his wife to be the county returning officer for Mombasa, Juan Swala Yusuf. One, that is a conflict of interest. Number two, there's a scheme to deny the people of Mombasa their will and to rig, and we will not going to allow that. So as we go to Mombasa, we want to tell Marjan, we know you have already planned using your wife to rig the election of Mombasa. All right, uh, that is at the Jaramogi Odinga Foundation in Upper Hill, where Raila has just concluded a meeting there. The Azimio presidential candidate Raila Odinga has just concluded a meeting with the Azimio Election Board. The briefing began with uh, uh, Raila just recapping how happy he, he has been with the role the board has played. And uh, the meeting was to assess where what has been done so far and what more needs to be done moving forward. The Azimio candidate then took time to uh, uh, let Kenyans know that he also had a conversation earlier this week with the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez, uh, where the discussions focused on Kenya and the just concluded election and the process now ongoing at the Supreme Court and also regional matters, security in the region, terrorism and, and so much more as well. It was a, a wide ranging discussion and uh, uh, the Azimio candidate uh, took time to explain to Kenya Kenyans uh, about some of the details they discussed there with the United Nations uh, Secretary General. Uh, thereafter, the chair of, of that board, Nderito Moredi, the former uh, Laikipia governor, uh, went on to state that uh, they were from where they stand, they believe Raila won the election. Uh, he also stated that uh, Kenyans must go beyond rituals to have meaningful democratic elections, not running of elections and, a, and the state by a brief course. Uh, he also questioned whether Kenya could get to a point where agents are not necessary because the IBC, which is paid to do so, would then carry out a free and fair election uh, through and through, minimizing the need for agents. So those are some of the sentiments that have come from that particular briefing uh, that is still ongoing at the Jaramogi Odinga Foundation.